If you have traveled much, you probably have or will stay in a short-term rental, the most prominent one being Airbnb. This is also called home sharing, and if you're thinking about doing that with your house or your investment property in the OKC metro area, here are some things you need to know. Airbnb started in 2008 in San Francisco for several years before that and with the increased prominence of the internet in people's lives, Craigslist was the go-to place for people to rent out part of their properties or get roommates in a short-term arrangement to people they may not know. Now things have come a long way. In addition to Airbnb, there is now Verbo, vacation rental by owner, HomeAway. Uh, some people have independent website listings. Some still do Craigslist, word of mouth, and others. Hi, this is Keith May with Keller Williams Realty in Central Oklahoma. I'm a full-time realtor for 25 years. I deal with home sharing occasionally for investors who, if they're ever in need of short-term income, and also when I'm selling a big house for somebody, uh, they may have some extra space they don't need. They have somebody that stays there to uh, offset the expenses, and in my own experience. At the end of this video, I'll tell you and show you the municipalities in the metro that require a license or a permit and how you go about getting those and the things that you need to do if you choose to home share. Clearly this is a way for a property owner to make extra money by allowing others to use unused space. It can also be a win for a guest to be able to stay somewhere much less expensive than a hotel that offers unique features and a memorable experience and I've seen hosts lives changed with the extra income they make. Here are some other things to know. There is a distinguishable difference between a non-owner occupant home share and an owner occupied or what's called a primary resident one. An owner occupied one will have less people staying at the property and the owner is living on the premises normally just renting out an extra bedroom or two maybe a garage apartment. The Historical Preservation Society in Oakland City is an example of an area that allows primary resident ones only. The areas or HOAs that prohibit home sharing could have a rule if they choose where owner-occupied ones are allowed and non-owner-occupied ones are not. In addition, some neighborhoods have grandfathered in people who started doing home sharing before any policy to prohibit it was put in place since they bought knowing that they could do that, which is only fair. In Oklahoma City, there is a different permitting process for whole house versus owner occupied. So check out the covenants and restrictions of your neighborhood or your HOA to make sure what is allowed. Some may say they don't allow it. There's nothing in writing though that may prohibit it. And if you're an HOA, consider it goes both ways. You don't want to be too strict and too restrictive because that can be a deterrent for people choosing to purchase a house. And certainly if you choose to be a host, please be responsible. Please follow all the rules. Comply with your local municipality. Do things right. If you go through one of the platforms such as Airbnb, guests' identities are verified and background checks are made and there is also a review system in place similar to eBay or an online dating site, for example, incentivizing the host to provide an accurate, clean, and safe space and the guests to be a good one so other hosts will approve them for stays in the future. The platforms also have hotlines to report problems or complaints as well and I've seen Airbnb's hotline to be very swift and strict on guests and hosts. In addition, some platforms collect and pay taxes to the local municipalities on the owner's behalf and those additional taxes the service created may have not existed before if a guest found the traditional expense of staying in a hotel too expensive and therefore chose not to make the trip. The city of Edmond, for example, has a neat program uh, 
They do not require a permit or a license to do home sharing. They, however, do receive a 4% lodging tax that funds Visit Edmond, which promotes Edmond tourism. In 2023, so far, the city has made an extra 10,000 a month, approximately, from Airbnb taxes. If your service does not collect and pay taxes for you to the respective governments, Certainly, you should do that yourself. Hopefully, you're finding this video helpful, and please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel, Real Estate Central Oklahoma, so we can bring content to more people. And if you have real estate needs, questions at all, feel free to reach out direct to me. Now, what I mentioned before, in the Oklahoma City metro area, the municipalities that require a license or a permit to be allowed to home share are listed in the description of the video. It tells you who to contact and other pertinent information. Now, my direct number is 405-833-2626. See my other playlists on relevant real estate uh, topics. Keith May with Keller Williams Realty, and goodbye.